strange to meet Sim. Uh, this is your first time in Italy. Um, after your uh, first show last night in Bologna, um, tonight here uh, in, in Vasto. And I've read you've tried to come here since 1985 or something. And uh, how come you've never done it? Uh. One, one of our first concerts in London, there were, um, there were a couple of Italian um, boys there and they said, Oh, we've got a club in Italy, we need, we need to get you over. And, and at the time, we'd never played outside um, Britain. We just played in, you know, mostly in Glasgow. And then playing in London was quite, you know, and I, and I was like, oh, someone's going to bring us to Italy. And everyone's like, wow, no, that's amazing. And it, never, it just never happened. And then, um, so we always got offers for, um, everywhere but but not Italy <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't know why so um, it's been really nice to come here and it's a beautiful you know it's such a beautiful country and um, it's a pleasure to be here it's our pleasure actually and so right off the stage how was that how was the show here um, it, it was good I, I um, just when we were before we went on, I, I, I fell off the stage and I, twi I twisted my ankle, so I was a bit kind of like, you know, so I, I, couldn't, I didn't really, it wasn't as loose. Yeah, I, I, it, was, it wasn't lit, and then I, I, just, I just kind of like fell, and um, so I was distracted, but I thought there were some really nice moments tonight. I thought we played Baby Honey quite well, and um, you know, a couple of others, but, um, yeah, we enjoyed it. It was it was nice. Well, um, among so many different things you've done as a band in years, um, there is this mm, pretty peculiar one, which is the recent launch of a Pilsner's beer, Pastelism. I have read that you have created together with Domino and this uh, Danish brewery, Mick Keller. Yeah. And uh, that sounds like a very interesting story. Tell us about it, please. Well, the art director of Mick, um, they've got a very... Um, well, there's just an explosion of craft beers just now. Everyone's really into microbreweries and craft beers. mckellar has got a very good reputation. So um, the art director, Keith Shore, is a really big Pastels fan. And he um, they're doing a series of beers with groups. And um, they, they asked us first, but um, Mastodon, the metal group, they've They've got one, and I think theirs is going to come out first, and then theirs is really strong, you know, and it's got kind of, you know, it's got kind of angry looking, and ours is ours is a kind of pilsner. I think I think it should be quite quite nice. <laughs> Actually, and. Um the Pestle have been around for a very long time, with the band having seen many different members and contributors uh, throughout the years. And uh, so one could say it's like like a large family, a place where friends come and go. Does it feel like a family to you? Yes, yeah, uh, um, in some respects. Um, I think the core of the, the group um, was um, after a while became myself and Katrina. And, and Annabelle um, and bass Aggie and um, Annabelle's partner is Tom so we started Tom started playing with us in the 90s um, so he, he's been in the group really a long time too and um, there's probably been three or four different phases but um, we only uh, um, when we split up in the the first time we didn't do it very well because we were young and kind of um, didn't really know how to do things like that and it was a bit ugly. But after that, we, it was all people that stayed friends, so we're all, um, yeah, yeah, it's a, ni a nice atmosphere. We always, you know, if someone's not a bit, Gerard from Teenage Fan Club said he wasn't able to, he was playing with us for a long time and he'd probably still play in some of our records, but when he was unavailable, we decided to get Jamie because we, to play bass, because I knew he was a good bass player, but also, and you'd fit really well into the group because um, and that's important too you know it's not it's not always about having the best musicians to play the best music it's just having a nice collection of people's as important. yeah that that's why I was asking it's like a family is it like 
going back home. Some yeah, I think we all go, we see each other a lot in Glasgow. Um, well, I mean, obviously Katrina and I are a couple, and then Tom Tom's one of our closest friends. So and Tom's got a group, International Airport and Geographic. So um, probably see Tom the most, uh, um, but we're all, we're all friends. We all we all get on well, you know. And now Alison's Katrina's sister, so see her quite often too. And one last question: um, Any plans for the future? Yes, um, well, we're working on three or four things. That probably the, we're doing. Um, we're working on a couple of retrospectives of music, kind of one which will be more recent music, some unreleased kind of um, sessions and things that never came out and a few things that are out of print and we did some theatre music and some film, so some of that and then also we're getting the rights back to our earlier music so we're going to do that and then I'm involved in a film we're making, um, it's going to be a documentary about the 1980s but there's not going to be any talking heads, it's just going to be right in the moment, it's just archive footage and voiceover because we've got a lot of um, really beautiful film from the 80s of My Bloody Valentine and Primal Scream and the Jesus and Mary chain and it's going to be called A Scene In Between there's there's a book with this, the same name and the person who wrote the books involved in this project too so we're quite excited about that and so we're just all at the moment we're just trying to get all the, the film together and get it nicely transferred but it was in the 80s, there were a couple of people who were really tra talented filmmakers and they've got a really good archive. And um, the director's going to be Paul Kelly. He made a film about Lauren, Lawrence from Felt and he's made a lot of films in collaboration with St Etienne about London. And he made a film about Dexys, Kevin Rowland, and I think he's, he's, got a really, he's really good and he's quite an old friend. so. Excited about that, and then I'm also editing a book on DIY music, which is the kind of music that I got into when I was really young. You know, the kind of late 70s, early 80s music, a lot of the rough trade stuff, and from that period. So that's um, so. If any of them, I don't know if they'll all work. Well, they will. I think they will, but I don't. They, they might not all happen immediately, but. Um, that's the thing, that's what I'm doing mainly, so. Interesting, I can hardly wait till I see it. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 hope, I hope they're good, I, I, you know, I'll do, you know we, we try to make everything as good as it can be, and yeah, so. Thank you so much for everything you've done with your music, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for being very, you know, it's a lovely interview and I'm sorry, I'll kind of just, but, but um, thank you. Thanks.